Oh, Matt, is it, is it all right? Hmm? It's all right if I help. Yeah, I'll okay. help. I'm trying to show off here, man. I'm setting up these uh, these lamp heads or lamp stands for uh, some LED lights. He's got one on his uh, this whole stage has a bunch of a bunch of different kinds of lights that they're adding and everything. So it's another easy easy task to keep me out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I have the last one. We have the last one. You want to do it? Please. Oh, gosh. Thank you. You're so generous. Uh, which one? No, they're all done. Do you have a spare one in there? I have a. There's two spares, yeah. I'm pretty sure that someone took for from one box. Oh, got it. Okay. Thanks for nothing, man. <laughs> <laughs> we can always take one out and have you put it in there. It's all right. I'll, I'll just imagine it. <laughs> That's okay. I, 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 it's okay. I, I set up the. Yeah. I set them up, Steve. Yeah. yeah. It's a, you sounded I mean, very. You, you, like even it, have, you sounded you like have, you're. Yeah. You sounded like you're being nice about it, but then you were like, "Yeah, but fuck you, though." <laughs> really? Is that what I sound like? <laughs> Working with people, they work fast, they're really good at what they do, and they, they do it all the time, so things are really, things go fast when you get in that rhythm, and, and you've done it a few times, and there's just an energy to it, and it's pretty invigorating, and, and it's satisfying. You know, three guys have to, have to suddenly work in sync with four or five house guys and set stuff up, and, you know, what's stopping strangers from just kind of just getting along and getting the job done and feeling that mutual satisfaction of uh, doing something well and, and uh, going home. Wow, guitars for a bunch of dorks. I know, <laughs> I'm so awkward when talking about guitars because I'm not really a gear nerd, but no, no. like no. I just but know, you play them and you I know just know what I like when I find it, you know. That's, that's kind of all anybody, Right. that's all anybody really knows. And, mm -hmm. When you pick it up and it feels good and songs instantly come out, then you know that's the guitar for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, then, you don't, then you're not thinking about what the model is and what, what you're plugging it into. Yeah. It's just, I'm just, okay, now I'm hearing music, now I can actually... Right. Yeah. I've never yeah, been like, oh, this person has that guitar, I need that guitar or something. Oh, right. <laughs> Although the pickguard on this Taylor is modeled after a guitar that Dolly Parton played. I like my dream strap. This really talented guy named Matt Kepler. He basically just like, I don't know, like he comes up with this stuff on his own. Like I, I just kind of showed him like the old country straps where they would have like their full name on it. But I was like, I think that's a bit much for me because I'm not, I don't think of myself as like some full great name, guitar player right. or anything. So. But, but your initials is, but, initials is yeah. good. And he built, you know, all this like Happy extra fringe, fringe and like the, the slashes that kind of give it. For me, like the slashes really went with like these jagged branches and stuff, and it all kind of ties together. Yeah. And, like ripped fabric. Yeah. It's a whole like yeah. shipwreck vibe going on. Yeah, yeah. These are amazing. Yeah, I'm so happy with that. Who uh, put these together? Is um, this... this woman in the bay named Liz Judkin. She goes under the name Ceremonia. Mm -hmm. And I just like found her on Instagram, and she had a lot of like small like ceremonial ritual pieces and. Just hit her up like, I don't know, if it, it's probably a long shot because this is a huge piece that I want, but kind of like drew some reference things and mm -hmm. 
and she took on the project and, and did this super fast, and it was exactly wow. how I envisioned it. And really? This That's part awesome. was just her idea, the, cam the, the, the candelabra the thing. Candle. Yeah. And of course, <laughs> I'm like stoked that it was like a woman who made it. A woman metal worker. A woman metal worker, weld welder, and. Yeah. Yeah. Super That's good. Cool. Making stuff, making things. There's, there's room and there's, there's room all over for, for art. Yes. Yep. There's room in art for everyone. So I'm trying to tour like a little bit less and less each year because I just like get yeah. into like a lot of unhealthy habits on the road. But mainly yeah. being like insomnia and just not yeah, sleeping yeah. and like just slowly deteriorating as yeah, the tour yeah. goes on. But then like at home just being like, okay, I need to take this time Recovery. to be good to myself and like yeah. yeah, recover. Yeah, yeah. How many how often like, when you go out, do do you find you have a limit for how long how long you'd be on the road or or I mean, is it you get pushed pretty hard? Last year we did one that was like I think almost seven weeks and I think that was like a bit much. Yeah. Mainly because the last day we did like two shows in one day. We did Holy like a cow. pretty long radio set and then like a show that night. Mm -hmm. And at the end of that night I was just like laying on the floor. It's like I don't even think I can get up right now. <laughs> like, yeah. Because I wow. think also like your body and your brain like knows no, that it's it coming to an on, end. Yeah. But like once it's over, like, yeah, yeah. It's just it's, I don't know. Yeah, everybody it's knows just, for like, it. You finally like get all of that wave of tiredness over you. And yeah, there might be a part of your brain that hold this like okay, we're holding on. I know I gotta just wait until uh, Wednesday, and then mm -hmm. and uh, I find like people get sick. Like they'll come home from the tour exactly. and, uh, like, and right get away. just deathly sick. Mm -hmm. You know, so and it's weird. almost like their immune system has been holding it, holding mm -hmm. it back as best as they could, and, and, and knowing that at least at some point yeah. they're going to be able to like, okay, I can't do it anymore. Which is kind of amazing, that, like psychosomatically, we can like train our bodies to, like not get yeah. sick until we know we can like rest for a few days. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I used to get sick a lot on tour. Yeah. And I don't anymore. Not gonna lie. Yeah. Talking about you. Talking about me. Talking shit. Talking shit. <sighs> I don't like peppermint candy, but for some reason I like peppermint tea. Yeah. That's oh, that's so nice. weird. So it just is so repulsive in candy to me. But you know, I'm actually just, the same way. I don't like gum, and I don't really like mints. Yeah, I don't. I always but, hate uh, peppermint. The only thing I like is like a spray, like a peppermint. Oh yeah, yeah. There's a guy who doesn't need it all in this tour and he's only missed two shows and he wears all white white hoodie and white sweats and yeah, you should talk player. to him i think this is, this is the last night he's coming yeah that would actually be interesting you to like hear his, his story he's like from san antonio has been driving all over how many shows have you been to this tour um, um san diego was the start of the tour and then Phoenix, Philly, Brooklyn, Dallas, both Austin shows, Houston, the Tucson show, I mean, I mean the Santa Fe show, which was the best show on the tour, um, Tucson, um, Los Angeles, San Francisco, and then now tonight. I've had tickets to probably like six or seven shows, but I bad things always really ha um, <laughs> seem to happen before I go to her shows. Well, the first time I saw her, I got laid off the next day. The second time I saw Chelsea, and I got caught in a whiteout blizzard and had to sleep in my car, like covered in ice. There was another time I, I was going to see her and then I got a really bad feeling. I went back home instead. Um, at that time I had moved to Texas to help out my mom because she had um, like fallen and hurt herself. And, uh, and then like when I would have been at the show, she actually like fell in the shower and like passed out. I was like face down in the water. So if I had gone to that show, it would have been probably the end of my mom, I guess. I don't know, but um, I've been to a lot of these shows. There's another guy in white, right? Check, one, two, 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 check, two. Check is in there. Are you on a throat code at all? I, I have, from, from time to time. Been known to? After every tour though, I'm like, I can't drink this for like six months. I'm so sick of it. 
Oh, really? Yeah, it's, it's got a lot of like licorice root. Licorice and stuff, yeah. It's good, it's just, it gets kind of old. I, I heard, I see here that uh, Roy Orbison used to drink mm -hmm. warm Coke before he'd go on stage to kind of do something. Yeah. First throw. Mm -hmm. I was just listening to Roy Orbison. Yeah? Yeah. I love Roy Orbison. Okay. I, I love, I've, yeah. to this oh, guy named, uh, that, yeah. this guy today, and he's someone I'd heard about and kind of heard someone else's recording, the warm-up recording of him, they recommended, so I went to, so yeah, it was really cool. the person that you were talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, oh, cool. it was really cool, and uh, yeah, you know, sang a little bit, kind of checked my voice, and gave us some pointers, and then uh, gave me an exercise for Yeah, it's nice to have like a personalized thing. Mm. Excited to, to to start using it. It's, yeah, it's fun. It's fun when it, it's nice to sing well. We good? I'll go around you. Is it time? Well, in uh, less than a minute. Yeah. Or you can try it on that, yeah.
this one was just a weird, like, dark energy, and I don't know what's going on. I was trying to push it away, and it was combating me with everything I had. But, uh, I really got through it. Show. Celebration. Cheers. Cheers, y'all. Packing up the lights. I'm packing up the ones that I set up. So hopefully that's not messing with anybody's gig. Well, oh, right. so here's, here's, here's the good thing though. If I was to see a Slayer show in Seattle, you'd have Seattle Slayer fans. But if you're gonna go to Spokane, Washington, you should get Spokane Slayer fans. Yeah. And that is going to be a hundred times better. So yeah, pretty much the faster these guys get their stuff tear down, torn down, the faster they can go to bed and chill out. So usually everybody's pretty excited to get it torn down. Yeah. You wild, you fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks, 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 thanks. Oh, <laughs> you fucked up so hard. Oh, two more oh, you guys fucked up so hard. Oh, no. We got to shut up camera, dude. <laughs> you guys are going to have such a good time. We're all paying you to say you are the best by your name. Sorry. Sorry, guys. That mic and phone's here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this, this, this is the problem. Yeah. <laughs> Alex you Paul. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah you're okay. Yeah. Right there. Or we can go walk up and down the ramp all day long. Take two. Yeah, cut it.